Pericles was arguably the most prominent and influential Greek statesman, orator and general of Athens during the Golden Age, specifically the time between the Persian and Peloponnesian Wars. He was descended, through his mother, from the powerful and historically influential Alcmeonid family. Pericles turned the Delian League into an Athenian Empire, and led his countrymen during the first two years of the Peloponnesian War. The period during which he led Athens, roughly from 461 to 429 BC, is sometimes known as the Age of Pericles. Though the period thus denoted can include times as early as the Persian Wars, or as late as the next century, Pericles promoted the arts and literature. It is principally through his efforts that Athens holds the reputation of being the educational and cultural center of the ancient Greek world. He started an ambitious project that generated most of the surviving structures on the Acropolis. This project beautified and protected the city, exhibited its glory, and gave work to the people. Pericles also fostered Athenian democracy to such an extent that critics call him a populist. Early years Pericles was born c. 495 BC, in the deme of Kologos just north of Athens. He was the son of the politician Xanthippus, who, though ostracized in 485-484 BC, returned to Athens to command the Athenian contingent in the Greek victory at Mycala just five years later. Pericle mother, Agorista, a member of the powerful and controversial noble family of the Alcmeonidae, and her familial connections played a crucial role in kick-starting Xanthippus' political career. Agorista was the great-granddaughter of the tyrant of Sicyon, Cleosthenes, and the niece of the Athenian reformer Cleosthenes. According to Herodotus and Plutarch, Agorista dreamed, a few nights before Pericle birth, that she had born a lion. Interestingly, legends say that Philip II of Macedon had a similar dream before the birth of his son, Alexander the Great. One interpretation of the dream treats the lion as a traditional symbol of greatness. But the story may also allude to the unusually large size of Pericles' skull, which became a popular target of contemporary comedians. Pericles belonged to the tribe of Acamantus. His early years were quiet. The introverted young Pericles avoided public appearances, instead preferring to devote his time to his studies. His family's nobility and wealth allowed him to fully pursue his inclination toward education. He learned music from the masters of the time and he is considered to have been the first politician to attribute importance to philosophy. He enjoyed the company of the philosophers Protagoras, Zeno of Ella, and Anaxagoras. Anaxagoras, in particular, became a close friend and influenced him greatly. Pericle manner of thought and rhetorical charisma may have been in part products of Anaxagoras' emphasis on emotional calm in the face of trouble, and skepticism about divine phenomena. His proverbial calmness and self-control are also often regarded as products of Anaxagoras' influence.